Nintendo's Amiibo figures look great as they are, but customizing is a way of making them even more special. I'm TJ, and it's my mission to make the map that removes the mystery from Amiibo to help you chart the course to conquer your favorite custom challenges and achieve the unique and personalized Amiibo you always wanted. Let me make the mistake so you don't have to. Adventure time! I'm bored already! That's me, TJ, and Dark TJ. They'll be popping up from time to time to offer some tips, tricks, and helpful hints. Don't listen to anything this guy has to say. He has no idea what he's doing. Or not so helpful. It's dangerous to go alone, so come with us and we'll conquer this custom together. Welcome to Custom Conquest. Hey everybody, you found your way back for another episode of Custom Conquest. This time, we're gonna do our own variation on the Inkling Amiibo. I'm a kid now, I'm a squid now. You're neither, you're so horrible at the game you don't even deserve to play. That's kinda true. We're gonna take those really cool Amiibo from Splatoon and we're gonna do our own Smash variety of them. For me, the Inklings not appearing as a playable character was kind of a surprise because the game was such a breakout hit for Nintendo. But what they did do is they gave us these pretty refined looking Mii costumes that can be applied to the Mii Gunner. So we are going to do a custom of the Mii Gunner base and we're gonna combine pretty much unaltered the Splatoon Inkling Boy and Inkling Girl to those bases. You're gonna need very little, it's a custom that anybody can do, and then you're going to be able to have your very own Splatoon Amiibo character in Smash. On the Custom Conquest difficulty scale, the Smash Bro Inklings weigh in at a one. No paint or putty, you are gonna have to pull off some fancy footwork, but I know you can handle it. There were a lot of requests for this one, so here you go. Let's break down the components, which includes the figures, pieces, and parts. The first item we need to accomplish this mission is an Inkling Girl Amiibo from the Splatoon series. Since we're working on both of them today, I'm also going to need an Inkling Boy. To use the Inkling outfits in Smash Brothers, you need a Me Gunner Amiibo. Since we're doing both, we need two. Now for the equipment, tools, and supplies. I do highly recommend a pair of rounded needle nose pliers. They were a big help for me on this. And if you're going to follow my method, you're going to need a couple paper clips and some super glue. Now let's figure out exactly how we're going to go about doing this. Let's start by taking a look at our Mii Gunner, particularly how she's positioned on the base. We don't need to remove the NFC chip, since we're going to use the Mii Gunner base as is. That means all we need to do is find a way to remove the Mii Gunner from the base without doing any damage to it. That should prove easy enough. Now let's take a look at the Inkling Girl. The pose that the Inkling Girl amiibo is in is the exact same one that's included as the Smash Brothers trophy, so I don't really feel like there's any need to modify the figure at all. But the NFC chip in the Splatoon base doesn't have any functionality in Smash. If we look at the spacing of her legs, and even the bend in her knees, it's pretty similar to the Mii Gunner, and the spacing's not that different either. So what I'm hoping is, if I can remove both figures cleanly from their base, it'll just be a simple matter of aligning the Inkling Girl's feet into the same position where the Mii Gunners were. I'll bet we can use the exact same process for the Inkling Boy! Yeah, so no need to unnecessarily pad the episode, let's get on with it already! Okay, so we got four figures here that we want to remove from the base. And the best method I've found for this is just to drop the figure straight into some boiling water. You guys have asked me a lot of questions about how I protect the NFC chip, but there's really no trick to it. The temperature at which water boils is not hot enough to do any damage to your NFC chip when it's housed in the base. There have been times where some water has leaked in, but out of literally dozens of boiled and baked amiibo, I've yet to encounter even one example where the NFC chip was compromised in any way. Let them sit there for 30 seconds to a minute. They're really rubbery when you first remove them, and this is a fleeting period of time. They don't stay like this, so you definitely want to work fast and handle your business before they cool down. I'm going to use the rounded tip needle nose pliers because it really allows me to concentrate my force into the exact area that I want. And in this case, pulling them out was no problem. Repeat the process for all four figures till you have four separate figures and four separate bases. Now as I test aligning the feet, I can see that they're close but not quite exact. So there are going to need to be some modifications made. Since I can't move the holes in the base, I'm going to move the way that the shoes align to them. For the back leg, I'm just going to trim down the support post just enough to provide a snug fit into the base. For the front leg, I decided the best way to ensure a perfect fit for my support post is to use the support posts that were designed to be compatible with this base. That means I'm going to need to remove the support from the Inkling Amiibo and find some very secure way of attaching the support posts from the Mii Gunner. Using my X-Acto knife, I'm going to trim the posts off, and I could just glue them directly to the Inklings, and while I have had really great results with super glue, with some applied force it could come off, and I handle these Amiibo a lot, so I want to prevent that from happening. First I'm going to figure out exactly where I want the foot to be positioned, and then align that to the support. Once I'm confident I got the right spot, I'm going to use a thumbtack to poke a hole in both sides, 
sides and run my paper clip through it to hold it in place. You're gonna have to use at least two because if you only use one, it can swivel, but two's gonna lock it into the exact position that you put it. The alignment of the feet is really close. I'm gonna bend the front leg out of position just a little bit on both of them, but because I am working against the tendency of the plastic, I'm gonna need to make sure it's locked in really tight to recondition it. Sounds like a job for some super glue. Seal that puppy up. So after a relatively pain-free process, now we have Inkling Amiibo to settle it in Smash. For the Inkling Me, we use the Nintendo's QR code. You can get it from the website or you can copy it from right there. We saw the Amiibos in game. Let's put them in the box. We're gonna make these available with the link in the description below. Now let's take a look at your customs. If you want your custom featured here on Custom Conquest, all you gotta do is tweet us at Custom Conquest with the hashtag MyCCAmiibo. Winner of last episode Shovel Knight giveaway is just me 3434 Congratulations! You'll be contacted really soon to arrange for shipping. We've got another giveaway coming your way from Amiibo News' very own Amiibo Jason and Happily Candy, Resetti from the Animal Crossing series. And if you're looking for some inspiration, check out this amazing custom job by artist Trevor Nickel. That's spot on! Get a good look, Nintendo. He fixed it for you. This is what Rosetti's supposed to look like, not that imposter. So I might not be that good at Splatoon, I'll admit it. Horrible! But now I can take my super cool, so bad, custom, inkling, worst. Smash Brothers Amiibo and settle it in Smash. Come to think of it, you're not that good at Smash either. The Amiibo do all the work. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Thanks for, for playing. playing. Dark Side out. Hey guys, be sure to find your way back here for our next episode for the first of our seven-part Koopaling series. 